This is NewHampshireCrossCountry.com, powered by Runners Alley, coming to you from the 2017 JV State Championship Meet. Runners set. Here we are at the Grand Junction. The first time they hit the Grand Junction. Looks like Salhegan is off to a pretty strong start. Closely followed by Big Pack of Horse River. Looks like some Salhegan and uh, yeah. Horse River definitely working together there, it looks like. Fort Smith, a couple mixed into that pack. At this point, at the start, Oyster River looks like it's have it, but followed by Portsmouth. Comes some Cole Brown runners. There's a good group of Cole Brown runners. They need to get a fifth in there, though, to be in contention against uh, Oyster River and Hanover. Some more Cole Brown, Oyster River, Portsmouth. Uphill, and they've got their eyes forward for a slight downhill where they can recover a bit, but still not even at one mile in the race. So, what would you guys be thinking at this point in the race? At this point, you're just trying to get out and then maintain, settle, settle, yeah, settle, settle, settle in, settle. yeah. And yeah. then after that, first mile, just try to move up. Yeah. Try to latch on to someone, work with a teammate, work with someone you know. This is this year's. Division two and Division three JV State Championships. We had Salhegan coming through first at the one mile. And here comes the chase pack. Looks like a pack of three Salhegan girls. So Followed by Oyster River, Oyster River, Oyster River, and Oyster River. Then we have some Portsmouth, Oyster River, Portsmouth. Big pack of Oyster River. Looks like it's going to come down to Oyster River and Salhegan in this race. Here's a pack of Co Brown with a Hanover. And they're going through at about 6.50 right now, through the first mile. More Portsmouth, Han pack of Sal Hanover, another pack of Oyster River. 7.02, Here's a nice group of two co-brown runners. Followed by another teammate and then a Campbell girl. 10, 11, 12, 13, Pack of Portsmouth coming through now. They're at about 720. So right now I think the race for the teams is probably between Salhegan and Oyster River. With maybe Portsmouth in third. And, yeah. Or well, Portsmouth and Co. Brown duking it out for third. And then here's a nice pack in Milford, followed by Wyndham. Here's a pack of Campbell and some Oyster River. They're at about eight minutes now. 802-03-04. Salhegan, Oyster River, Portsmouth. Here's another pack of Milford, followed by St. Thomas, Oyster River, Portsmouth. Here comes the first runner from Salhegan. Looks like she's maintained a good bit of a gap so just, far. Just past the one mile mark right now. Job, Had a large Keep downhill so just before the one mile. Let's go, Salhegan. She's powering up that hill. This hill is, uh, would you guys say this hill is a pretty good spot to take off on people? Yeah, it is. Yep. yep. Definitely. Right here after they take this I turn. I definitely use this hill. Here comes go, three more Salhegan. Uh, they just need their fifth runner. 
followed by a large group of Ooh, Oyster River is still sticking close. It's going to be a close one between Oyster River and South Meekin. Looks like Co Brown's moved up a bit. Co Brown's going up. Probably where they were. Still need that fifth runner, though. Yeah. Anything can happen. It's still a little over a mile. Yeah. Hanover's got five past now, right? I think. Yeah, anything can happen. So again, they're powering up a hill right here. Similar to the last shot that we were talking to you for. Um, they're going to have a nice little flat slash downhill. Right after this. We'll have a little bit of an uphill. A little bit. Once they get out of, so they're going up this hill, they're going to go around the trail, and then they're going to get out on the field again. Would you guys say that, I, I think that can be a mentally tough spot sometimes. The field sometimes. is really yeah. mentally tough. It's like, a lot like um, Manchester, that deer yeah. dairy field. Mm -hmm. um, Especially on a hot day, it's really hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Today yeah. is actually really good weather conditions. Yeah. But out on that field, you can see the star, you can see the finish. Yeah. yeah. We're going to move to the next shot. Here comes the first runner. Slightly past the halfway mark. Sal Hegan runner maintaining. Looks like her teammates are pulling her. Good job, Alyssa. Good job. Yeah, a couple teammates left to back him up. Teammates are a little bit too far away. Use your hands to pull out of here. They've got Noyce River right behind them. Yeah, it looks like Oyster River is spread out a little bit more now. Oyster has made a move right here. It looks like Cole Brown has moved up a little too. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. Good job, Caroline. Keep the floor, Grace. Good job, Caroline. Good job, Caroline. Looks like, is that, is this coming up so he can score? So he can, no, that's so he can all right, so it looks like Oyster River and South Hegan are going to be battling for that team spot. Yeah, there's... Yeah. Hanover, Hanover's working together. together. Here's Co Brown's fourth and fifth, I believe. Fourth and fifth, Co Brown, yeah. Sydney Carney and Caleb Monahan. Really powering up, looking strong. If you're looking strong at this point, you've got a pretty good shot for the finish. This hill is really, really gets a lot of people. Yep. Oyster River has 15 in maybe. Keep pushing. Here's a good clump of Portsmouth. Definitely helps to have all your teammates. Yeah. In sight so to close. push you. What are you guys thinking about this hill in the race? I just try to do as best I can. Try to kind of maintain because you know you'll have a little bit of a pretty uh, downhill up there. Yeah. Pretty large one. You just got to get to that point. And... All right, we're gonna move to the single track. Here's the leader of the pack at the two mile, Sal Hegan. Here she goes. She's coming through at about 13.40 here. And she has a pretty substantial lead on the rest of the pack. And here comes her teammates, Sal Hegan's two and three, coming to the two mile mark. And Oyster River, Oyster River breaking up that big pack of Sal Hegan. Well, if Oyster River gets a pretty good pack through here, they might be able to break up Sal Hegan's lead. And there's Sal Hegan's fourth. Followed by Oyster River, then Co and Brown, a pack of three and Co Brown. Brown. And then another Oyster River, followed by Sal Hegan. There's Sal Hegan's fifth right there. So this is going to be a pretty interesting race. Then there's another Oyster River there, and followed by two Portsmouth girls. And they're at about 14.30, coming through the two mile. We've got two Hanover coming through now, followed by Co Brown. 14.38! And, and there's Hanover and another Co Brown coming through at about 14.52.
Cobrown Brown Oyster River coming through now, followed by some by a pack of Portsmouth and another pack of Oyster River. Fifteen oh six. And here's a big pack. And there's another this river. And, and they're at about Portsmouth. fifteen nineteen coming through the two miles. And here's a bunch of packs of several different teams. You got Portsmouth, Hanover. Milford, Oyster River. Right now, I'd say it's looking like Sal Hegan's gonna win this, followed by Oyster River, then Co Brown. Does that sound? Yeah, or like Portsmouth too. Yeah. They look like some. They're pretty strong out here today. Good contenders. <laughs> then there's another Hanover girl with the Co Brown, and then. <laughs> and they're at about 16.10 now, coming through the two mile. These girls are looking strong. One mile, one mile to go at the 2017 Division 2 and 3 JV State Championships at Co Brown. Nice Good time, so Hagen's number one. Nice. She's really pulled away a bit now. Yeah. Her teammates are starting to close in on her. Last shot we saw, but she's, she's pulled away. Yep. So Hagen looks to be maintaining their position. So they get out of this single track and they've got what? How, how much further to go? About 0.2, 0.2 miles. 400 meters. No, they definitely have more than that. Isn't it like 600? Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit over. True. Yeah. Oyster so, is number one. And the single track's definitely a good spot to pull away from people. There's lots of turns. Cole oh, Cole Brown. Cole Brown. Cole Brown. She has separated Oyster Rivers one and two. Miranda. There's Oyster Rivers second. Sal Hegan's four. Here comes Cole Brown's two and three, though. Oh, man. Right now. Come on, Sophie! Sophie, Everyone's going for one. Yeah, Cobrown's 2-3, Oyster River's third. Come on, Sophie! Sal Hegan's fifth is here. Sal fifth, right here. So, so looks like Sal Hegan's got it as of right now. Lots can happen, though. Oyster River's fourth and fifth is right there. And there is Cobrown's fifth. So the three teams, Oyster River, Sal Hegan, and Cobrown, all have five runners in. Right around with the single track and battle. Right around. Come on, kid. Get three more people in. Hanover's got a couple there. We need those two Hanover shirts. Cole Brown's six. You know your job. Sid, we need one pink shorts or we're in it with the Oyster River. Come on. Arms straight back, take a shot. This is going to be close. Here you go, Kelly! Send it down the hill! If these people have some kicks in them, if these girls have some kicks in them, it can be a close race. Yep. Yeah, it will. Here's Cole Brown's number seven runner. Closer followed by a couple of Oyster River. Oyster River's definitely got the most depth out of all the teams we're yeah. seeing today. Yeah, they've had a lot. Cole Brown's number eight. So what were you thinking about the single track? This is where like you can make a lot of moves, you can gain on people, you can separate. There's a lot of stuff you can do. <laughs> Here comes our first runner of the day from South Hegan.
Here comes some more babies. Nice job, Kirsten. Kirsten Davis. We got some more that. Get her out of the line, take her number. Sydney Party of Boom. They all said they knew their job. Right in there from Boom. Good job, Sydney. Good Sydney.